hi there in this video we are going to have a brief overview of the autoimmune diseases and uh, about immunological tolerance which includes uh, central tolerance as well as peripheral tolerance so let's start it so let's first discuss about the immunological tolerance so what is tolerance basically uh, tolerance is a phenomena in which body uh, immune system does not recognize uh, immune system does not recognize the self antigens so uh, there are antigens there are proteins in the body but our lymphocytes does not recognize them and does not produce any response against them this is called immunological tolerance and this immune tolerance can be central tolerance as well as peripheral tolerance what is central tolerance central tolerance is the uh, tolerance which develops uh, during the development and maturation of the lymphocyte in their uh, primary lymphoid organs uh, and for T lymphocyte primary lymphoid organ is thymus thymus is called T lymphocytes and uh, bone marrow bone marrow is the primary lymphoid organ for B lymphocytes okay so when uh, T lymphocyte and B lymphocyte are developing into thymus and bone marrow uh, all the uh, their uh, progeny which uh, react with self antigen are detected and deleted from uh, the cluster of the lymphocytes this is called central tolerance however central tolerance is not always perfect and certain autoreactive uh, lymphocytes are formed uh, which are subjected to the tolerance peripherally and this phenomenon is called peripheral tolerance in which tolerance is occurring outside the primary lymphoid tissues okay so how central tolerance occurs central tolerance is occurring basically uh, in thymus and bone marrow and what happens in thymus in thymus when uh, t lymphocyte that is uh, reacting to normal or uh, normal body antigens is selected and it dies out by apoptosis this phenomenon is called negative selection okay so how this happens uh, this phenomenon is controlled by a gene which is called ir gene or autoimmune regulator gene and this gene induces the production of various self antigens it uh, leads to the production of self antigens self antigens into the thymus and when these self antigens are produced into the thymus they are presented to the young t lymphocytes and those T lymphocytes which react with these antigen undergo apoptosis and they are removed from the cluster of T lymphocytes and this phenomenon is called negative selection. However, if there is a mutation in this gene, uh, it can lead to the autoimmune polyendocrinopathy which can lead to the multiple, uh, you can say, autoimmune manifestation of the tissue damage. Okay, so this was the central tolerance for the T lymphocyte. How central tolerance for B lymphocyte occurs? Central tolerance for B lymphocyte occurs. Uh, one is mechanism by apoptosis, and other is receptor rearrangement. We know that uh, lymphocyte have a, a wide range of receptors. So, in case of B lymphocyte, if uh, a B lymphocyte is found to have uh, specificity for self antigen, it is recognized, and its receptor undergo rearrangement, which is called receptor treating. So that is, it can no longer interact with the self antigen. This phenomenon is called receptor editing, which is specifically for B lymphocyte. So this is the phenomenon of uh, uh, you can say uh, central tolerance. However, some uh, uh, you can say lymphocyte may escape this phenomenon of central tolerance, and they can develop into the regulatory T cells. And these regulatory T cells then play their role into the uh, peripheral tolerance so let's move to peripheral tolerance what is peripheral tolerance we already described it is the uh, you can say deletion or inactivation of the lymphocyte in peripheral uh, tissues so how it happens firstly firstly there are certain sites in body which are immune privileged it means that they are not in direct contact with blood or lymph due to which uh, their antigens remain hidden from the immune system and they are not exposed these sites include certain areas of the cns certain areas of the cns they include uh, antigen in testes and they include certain proteins in eyes however if due to some trauma or due to some toxic injury these antigen get exposed then immunological reaction will occur against these antigens this is the condition which is uh, you can say observed in the uveitis as well as, as well as orchitis which is a 
the uveitis is the inflammation of uveal tissue in eyes and uh, otitis is the uh, inflammation of testicular tissues okay so these are the immune privileged side which are prevented from uh, normally from the immune uh, response however if these antigen get exposed then immune response may occur secondly uh, there is energy of the lymphocyte so what happens uh lymphocytes we previously discussed that lymphocyte need uh, first uh, they need uh, antigen presenting cells uh, t lymphocyte need antigen presenting cells uh, to present them antigen in combination with the mhc proteins however in addition to these mhc proteins they also need they also need co stimulators okay these co stimulators are also present on the antigen presenting cell so antigen presenting cell basically suppositely this is an antigen presenting cell it first presents antigen in combination with mhc protein secondly it also present co stimulator molecules which stimulate the t lymphocyte okay so uh, the antigen when uh, antigen presenting cell picks up self antigen uh, it does not have this uh, this co stimulator molecules expressed on its surface so uh, t lymphocyte which recognize self antigen don't get uh, their uh, relative co stimulators on the antigen presenting cells as a result they become inactive in the peripheral circulation this form is called anergy okay moreover uh, the t lymphocyte also have inhibitory receptors so in case of self uh, antigens these inhibitory receptors may also be engaged which can lead to the inhibition of lymphocyte this phenomena is also called energy in which they are getting inactive in the peripheral circulation okay next uh, phenomena is the regulatory t cells and these regulatory t cells are the cells which escape the uh, you can say central tolerance and they express Uh, different proteins on the surface which includes CD25 receptor, interleukin 2 receptor, and Fox P3 receptors. And how they prevent uh, the autoimmune or autoimmune response is not clearly understood. However, uh, if there is, uh, however, it is uh, observed that interleukin 2 receptor and Fox P3 receptor are very very necessary for the proper functioning of regulatory T cells. If mutation occurs in the fox p3 receptor it is observed that it can lead to the ipex syndrome this syndrome is characterized by a wide spread uh, you can see manifestation of the autoimmune response so uh, what uh, i here stand here it stand for a view dysregulation p for polyendocrinopathy for enteropathy x for x linked so it is has a wide spread manifestation so regulatory t cells uh, play their role in the peripheral tolerance but how they play their role is not understood but the mutation of their uh, fox p3 receptor can lead to the ipex syndrome there are some you can say hypothesis or some proposition about their role which say that they uh, release interleukin 10 and tgf beta uh, cytokines or mediators uh, which are amino specific basically they suppress the activity of t lymphocyte moreover they also uh, reduce the ability of antigen presenting cells to activate the lymphocytes t lymphocytes so uh, in this way they can play their role in preventing autoimmunity however their uh, exact mechanism is unclear next is uh, apoptosis and those t lymphocytes which uh, uh, react with self antigen may undergo apoptosis by a specific apoptotic regulator which is called bim bim or they can uh, be subjected to apoptosis by uh, engagement of the fas receptors okay and uh, any uh, you can say dysregulation or mutation in this fas receptor mechanism can lead to the autoimmune lymphoproliferative syndrome which is also an autoimmune condition in which uh, tissue damage and destruction may occur so we are not going to discuss detail of this disease okay so these are the different mechanism of peripheral tolerance one was uh, the you can say a hidden status of the some uh, self antigen other was energy other was regulatory t cell and then was apoptosis by bim or fas receptor pathway so uh, how an autoimmune disease may occur so what is the mechanism of autoimmune uh, disease here to develop when will autoimmune disease occur so principal requirement for autoimmune disease to occur is the breakdown of the central or peripheral tolerance there should be some breach in the central or peripheral tolerance so that auto reactive t cells or b cells can damage the normal body tissues okay this is the principal requirement however sometimes what happens uh, the uh, central peripheral tolerance are going on however 
देर कैन बी अ मालिकुलर मिमिक्री वट हैपन्स इन मालिकुलर मिमिक्री देर इज सम इन्फेक्शन पॉजिटली देर इज अ स्टेप्टोकोकल इन्फेक्शन एंड दिस स्टेप्टोकोकल इन्फेक्शन लीड टू दी प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एंटीबॉडीज हाउ एवर द एंटीजन ऑफ स्टेप्टोकोकस कैन रिजेंबल विद बॉडी टिश्यूज एंटीजन ऑफ हार्ट वाल्व यू कैन से एंटीजन ऑफ द जॉइंट टिश्यू एंड दीज एंटीबॉडीज विच आर प्रोड्यूस इन रिस्पॉन्स टू स्टेप्टोकोकस कैन लीड टू दी डैमेज इन हार्ट वाल्व एंड दे कैन डैमेज दे कैन ऑल्सो लीड टू डैमेज इन किडनीज दे कैन डैमेज जॉइंट विच कंडीशन इज कॉल न्यूमेटिक फीवर ओके This condition is rheumatic fever. So, a uh, response and autoimmune response will occur in a response to some infection is called uh, condition which called molecular mimicry. Moreover, certain environmental factors can also play a role in development of immune disease. For example, uh, you can uh, say that the uh, flares of the systemic lupus are aggravated by UV rays because UV rays uh, lead to the formation of uh, nuclear antibodies. Uh, uh, exposure of nuclear antigen in their skin and which lead to development of antibodies and it leads to the flare of uh, systemic lupus moreover smoking also alters self antigen and this altered self antigen can lead to the development of rheumatoid arthritis and once there is an autoimmune disease it leads to the tissue damage and when there is tissue damage uh, more self protein get exposed and more and more damage occur this phenomenon is called epitope spreading because more and more epitope are being exposed and more and more uh, damage is occurring due to exposure of these self antigens okay so autoimmune diseases uh, basically occurring due to breakdown in central peripheral tolerance and they have strong genetic basis if the person has a autoimmune disease there are strong chances that his uh, offspring can have autoimmune disease however a person having no genetic basis can also develop it because it is uh, it also influenced by environmental factors so it was a general overview about autoimmune diseases and in the next lecture we will discuss some uh, common autoimmune diseases thank you